Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio. And just a little while ago, I showed you that new celebration set, our 25th anniversary set. Incidentally, I've described this as the most exciting set ever. And I keep checking with myself, like, come on, Wassy, you're exaggerating, right? I actually don't think I am. I genuinely cannot think of any set that I have been more excited about than this one. It looks so good. The thing is, the reveal I showed you earlier, I showed you a bunch of products. I didn't show you any cards. All the cards were hidden from the products. It was very sad. I showed you that we were definitely getting a Dragapult Prime, and Primes are from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. I couldn't tell you what it did. Well, the great news is that although our products hid all the promos, when these were revealed over in Brazil, very shortly after they were revealed here, they didn't hide the promos. Now, these are going to look a bit weird. They are different products over in Brazil. They are not made exactly like ours. They are little blisters with free celebrations packs, a regular pack, and a promo. But the images Brazil went and put out, they did not hide the promos. So we can talk about some of these cool promos, including Dragapult Prime, and I'm so excited. I need to give a gigantic shout out here to... At G Blessa, and I'm really sorry for the pronunciation here. Hit me up with translations super quickly, and I am delighted. Also, Lopes Pick over on Twitter. Both of these dudes, I, they, they sent me these things and went, hey, do you need translations? To both of them, I said, yes, please, that would be amazing. They both immediately started sending me translations because they are awesome people. So, Dragapult Prime then. Let's take a look. So we have 150 HP. This is about right. It's a little bit weird, if I'm honest with you, seeing primes with this much HP, but hey-ho, this looks about right. It's the same as the Dragapult from Rebel Clash had. Essentially, this is a Pokemon Prime reimagined in 2021. Also, I should mention, no, these are not tournament legal. They're just not. They don't have a regulation mark, and nowadays cards have to have a regulation mark to be legal. These are coming out in October, which is post-rotation. And post-rotation, you have to have regulation mark D or later to be legal. The fact that they don't have regulation marks mean they will not be legal for tournament play. That has been confirmed, and I'm sorry. But I still want like a billion of these Dragapult. I also want them in every language. So if you can get a non-English Dragapult, you hit me up, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do a trade. I love this card. Free Retreat is kind of cool, but what does it actually do? Well, the first attack here, what we've got is Supersonic Return. And it does 60 damage. And if you want to, you may switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Cool. That sounds kind of cool to me. Single energy, 60 damage. I'm into it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is a stage two. It's kind of, you know, awkward to get. But that's not the point. I like it. Free psychic energy. You do 150 damage. And you discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Incidentally, I should mention primes. There are no extra mechanics involved. You don't give up extra prizes. They're just cool looking stage twos. There are no extra things going on. It's just a regular stage two that looks really pretty. I like the 150. I like the hand disruption. I like that you could get some energy acceleration going on here with your shadow horse. Which would be nice. That's cool. But honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think it might still be a little bit expensive. Again, these aren't actually tournament legal, but I like to pretend that they are. That makes me happy. So yeah, th this is the one I'm super excited about. This is awesome. The other one that just looks cool and brings me back is Zacian Level X. Now, Level X is, for those of you that may have forgotten, you Level X the active Pokemon. So Zacian... If it's in the active, you can play Zacian level X on top of it. You get extra HP, but you keep any attacks on Zacian. No, you cannot level X Zacian V, because this isn't Zacian V level X. It is Zacian level X. You must level X Zacian 
not something like Zashin V. You go up to 160 HP, which for a single prize Pokemon is big. You don't give up extra prizes for level Xs, incidentally. They're still single prizes. And yeah, you gain yourself an ability. And the ability reads, damage done from this Pokemon's attacks are not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. It goes through anything. Which is really cool. I actually really like this. I mean, you've got 160 HP on a single prize Pokemon that can hit through anything. That's kind of cool. The attack does 240 damage and it stops you attacking next turn. But come on, Zash and V can't attack two turns in a row. And that hasn't stopped Zash and V being particularly amazing. Plus, you've got all kinds of things like Metal Saucer and to get energy on the field. Bronzong to move it around, etc. So you can even kind of retreat. And then bronze on to a new Zacian and keep going. I really like this. Also really should be borne in mind that Zacian and Zacian Level X have the same name. Level X is not part of the name. It's just uh, essentially telling you that it's a level up. That means that you are limited to four in total in your deck. So you have to either have a 2-2 two -two split or a 3-1 split. You cannot play a 4-4 four -four line. So this is a cut. I think if this was legal, this would actually see play. Single prize, 240, that's enough to KO a Pokemon V. Goes through anything. I love this card. It's not tournament legal. Be cool if it was though, wouldn't it? But it's not. Hey, you know how Mimikyu's a water type? It's not, but Mimikyu Delta totally is. Remember, Delta species are old cards from a couple of expansions where they mixed all the typings around, so Pokemon come in with typings they wouldn't usually have. Mimikyu comes in here as a water Pokemon, and it's kind of cool. Now it's as we would expect a Mimikyu to be. It's got 70 HP. It's got a weakness to lightning, which of course we wouldn't expect from a Mimikyu. But then again, if Mimikyu was a water Pokemon, we totally would expect it from a Mimikyu. So that makes perfect sense. What we've got here is one water energy. You draw two cards. Not a terrible attack, incidentally. I mean, it's not great. Let's not go over the top here. There's a bunch of Pokemon that can draw cards with an attack. But drawing two cards for a single energy, turn one, you're gone second. You got nothing else to do. This ain't bad. For two energy, you do 40 damage. And you put one energy attached to the defending Pokemon back into your opponent's hand. So it's a little bit of energy denial. I'm going to be honest, with two energy only doing 40 damage, it's not good. Like, even in a Frostmoth deck or using Melanie, it's a water card. So we've got plenty of ways to get the energy on there. It's just not good enough. Like, I can get the energy on there. I just don't really want to. Although, to be clear, right, we're having a quick look at these cards as if they were competitive and viable. Remember, in official tournaments, these are not legal. Obviously, if you're playing at home, you can do whatever you gosh darn well like. But it's kind of cool, yeah? In the design, it's a bad card. Now, we also have Light Toxtricity. Now, this is interesting compared to the others because this looks like an old Wizards of the Coast era card, i.e. a card from before the Pokemon company Nintendo took the game back over. And that's because it is. Light Pokemon came from the Wizards of the Coast era. They came from a time before Nintendo and later Pokemon actually made the cards. Which is why it looks like a Wizards of the Coast era card. Now we got 120 HP here. For a stage 1, that's about right. And for one colorless energy, you heal 30 damage from both active Pokemon. The theory here, of course, being that you need to heal, your opponent doesn't need to heal. So that works. Having said that, no. Not on a stage one Pokemon, not healing your opponent as well. Honestly, if it just healed 30 for one energy on a stage one Pokemon, I wouldn't like it. For free energy, you do 160, and this Pokemon can't use the attack next turn, but again, a million Pokemon can't attack next turn, that's not a problem. Do remember, we are getting Flaffy soon. By the time this comes out, we'll have Flaffy, it should be in Evolving Skies. No, it is going to be in Evolving Skies, because we know it's a pre-release promo, so actually we've had it confirmed, it will be in Evolving Skies. And it's a reprint of Electric, so you can accelerate energy, and that's kind of cool. It's not a game-breaking card. But 160 on a single prize Pokemon? Yeah. 
That ain't too bad, ladies and gentlemen. And then finally, we've got Hydreigon C. Now, Hydreigon C is a basic Pokemon, and I'm fully aware that Hydreigon itself should not really be a basic Pokemon. However, it's a Pokemon SP. So it is. Now, the reason it's Hydreigon C, it is Hydreigon Champion. It's the Champion's Hydreigon. Now... Of course, you can see there from the image, we've got Iris. Iris is the champion in Black and White 2. That's the one I'm playing for at the moment. It's a really good game. And her signature Pokemon is a Hydreigon. So it makes perfect sense that we would get a Hydreigon C for Iris. Like I said in my previous video, these SP Pokemon, you had GL for Gym Leader, G for Galactic, you had 4 for Elite 4, etc. C was for Champion. Now, back then, all the Pokemon C we got was Cynthia's Pokemon, because Cynthia was a champion in Gen 4, and these were Gen 4 cards. Here, they could have gone for any era they want. They've gone for Black and White 2, and they've gone for Iris. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. You got 110 HP, which is obviously low for a Stage 2, but it's not a Stage 2. It's a basic. 2 energy, 30 damage, not good. Free energy, 100 damage, plus 20 to 2 benched Pokemon. If you can accelerate the energy well enough, this isn't actually terrible, but it's still not a great card. These aren't really designed to be great cards, although I stand by the fact that although they're not designed to be great, Zash and Level X, if it was legal, would be great. Dragapult's got a chance, but Zash and Level X would actually be like a legitimate top tier card. It's just a little bit sad. But like I've said, they don't have regulation marks. They are definitely 100% confirmed not to be legal for tournament play. They are cool cards for collectors. But nowadays, it's a very simple rule. If a card does not have a regulation mark... It is not legal for tournament play. None of these have regulation marks. Obviously, this is post-rotation. I know pre-rotation, we still got some Sun and Moon cards that obviously don't. But by the time these come, it'll be post-rotation. No regulation cards. You don't get to play in the professional tournaments and all of that. Boo is, etc. Never mind, we'll get over it. Although, I think a lot of players are going to look at that Zash in level X and be thinking, what if... So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. In the previous video, I couldn't show you any promos. Now I could. I don't plan to do this thing where I do a big reveal video for the new set. And then it's all kind of exciting. And then like a couple hours later, I'm like, here's another video on the same set. But I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. They went and revealed promos. What am I going to do? Wait a day or two to show you? We all know that's not how I roll, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. You get to see them now. How cool is that? Very. I want so many of these Dragapult. Seriously. I want Dragapult in every language. But I want to know what you think about these cards. I want to know if you like them. I want to know if you're upset any of these aren't tournament legal. So go nuts in the comment section. But be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio